In this video, we'll look at 15 canceled actors and where they are today. Justin Timberlake Justin Timberlake is a best-selling musician, and many people recognize his roles in movies such as The Social Network and Bad Teacher. Justin started his music career in the boy band NSYNC, then went solo with hit songs like Gone and Like I Love You. He sold millions of records and became a worldwide sensation, even performing at the Super Bowl in 2004. Justin's Super Bowl performance was a disaster and almost ended his career, but we'll talk more about that later in the video. Since then, Justin has consistently topped the musical charts and has a net worth of $275 million. Justin's career was rocked with scandal after a new documentary came out in 2021. The name was Framing Britney Spears, and it mentioned Justin's relationship with the famous actress in the early 2000s. The documentary shed light on an interview Justin gave in the early 2000s, right after he broke up with Britney. In the interview, Justin was asked if he was intimate with Britney, and he said yes. This caused a media uproar and damaged Britney's public image quite badly. At the time, Justin's career benefited from the interview, but now people canceled him for sharing private information about his ex without asking her first. Justin apologized to Britney for his interview, and most people were willing to forgive him. While Justin was hit with controversy, his fame and musical career ultimately survived being canceled. Be sure to stick to the end to see the innocent actor that fans are having trouble accepting back after canceling him. If you thought that Timberlake story was crazy, wait till you hear this next one. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more amazing videos. James Franco James Franco is an actor known for his roles in Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Spring Breakers, and The Disaster Artist. While he won several awards and had a successful collaboration with Seth Rogen, things fell apart for James very quickly. A bombshell allegation destroyed his thriving career in the span of a single tweet. In 2014, an allegation came out from a 17-year-old girl that James Franco tried to set up a meeting with her in a hotel room. In the messages, James sent numerous photos of himself that gave away his identity, and it was impossible to deny that he was the one sending the messages. James admitted to sending the messages and apologized on Twitter afterwards. While his actions were technically legal because New York's age of consent was 17, it was nevertheless seen as very exploitative by the media and general public. Since that incident, James was cancelled, and his acting career has taken a serious nosedive. Many other women have come forward with their own nightmare stories, including exploitation of students and inappropriate behavior. This led to a lawsuit in 2021, where James lost over $2 million. He's claimed to be in therapy for sex addiction since then, but he'll have a lot of work to do to repair his damaged reputation. Ellen DeGeneres Ellen DeGeneres is known for her starring role in the sitcom Ellen, and later she went on to host The Ellen Show. Ellen's talk show career has been a huge success, and her net worth is estimated to be around $375 million. Having a net worth that high makes Ellen the 12th highest earning entertainer in the world. As a talk show host, Ellen would portray herself as fun-loving and friendly, but many people claimed there was a dark side to this actor. 10 ex-employees came out about Ellen's behavior off-camera and accused her of creating a toxic, racist, and intimidating atmosphere. The former employees alleged that Ellen failed to act on reports of sexual harassment against women working on set, and that she made racist and abusive microaggressions against non-white employees. The former employees also alleged that Ellen fired employees who took medical leave for health or family emergencies, and that she gutted her team and replaced them with non-unionized workers during the height of the pandemic. Ellen denied the accusations at first, but social media picked up on the story very fast and demanded that something be done. Ellen's office released a memo that they would launch an internal investigation into the claims and brought a third-party consultant on to ensure impartiality. Ellen issued a public apology as well, saying she would correct the issues from now on. 
Ellen mentioned the accusations in her letter to staff, saying, On the first day of our show, I told you all that the Ellen DeGeneres show would be a place of joy. Nobody would raise their voice, and each person would be treated respectfully. Something changed, and I am deeply disappointed to find out that this hasn't been the case. For that, I apologize. Anyone who knows who I am can tell it's the exact opposite of my beliefs and my intention for the show. While Ellen hoped the apology and investigation would heal her public image, things have only gotten worse since being canceled by social media. In May of 2022, the Ellen DeGeneres show announced they would be on their final season, and the future is unclear for the formerly beloved celebrity icon. James Corden James Corden exploded to fame when he came on as the new host of The Late Late Show, becoming an American celebrity overnight. While many people didn't know him back then, they've gotten to know him as an approachable and energetic TV show host over the years. With unique segments like celebrity karaoke while driving in a car or trivia games with some of the biggest names in Hollywood, James Corden built a career around his warm, on-screen persona. In fact, he landed several movie and musical roles over the years. Unfortunately, the James Corden we saw on TV was nothing but an act and the real James was darker than anyone could have imagined. A wave of controversy emerged against James when word got out about his rude and downright nasty behavior at a restaurant in New York City. The Balthazar, a restaurant owned by Keith McNally, issued a formal ban against James after several stories emerged of the celebrity treating the waitstaff like dirt. Keith mentioned an incident where James allegedly demanded free drinks after finding a hair in his food and threatened to leave a bad review for the restaurant. In another visit to the restaurant, James allegedly berated a server for cooking an egg white omelet incorrectly. In one incident, James may have even pulled a knife on a waiter. All these claims of rude behavior led to James being canceled by the public, and he quickly tried to put himself back in everyone's good graces. James issued a public apology and cleared the air on the Balthazar incidents on a segment from The Late Late Show. James also apologized to owner Keith McNally, and the restaurant announced later that they would lift the ban and allow James to dine there again. Unfortunately for James, his time at The Late Late Show is coming to a close, as he announced plans to step down in 2023. Time will tell if James can bounce back from the media firestorm, but he'll have to find a new audience from now on. Shia LaBeouf Shia LaBeouf is well known for his iconic roles in the Transformers movie series and has had many other successful roles over the years. Since then, Shia has worked as a motivational speaker and launched several pieces of performance art. Do it! Just do it! With a net worth of $25 million, Shia was doing quite well in Hollywood. All of his success would be put in jeopardy when bombshell accusations came out against the celebrity, though. The accusations had to do with Shia's relationship with fellow actor Talia Barnett, who went by the stage name FKA Twigs. She was married to Shia from 2018 to 2019, and according to her, that relationship was a toxic nightmare. In December of 2020, Talia filed a lawsuit against Shia, claiming sexual assault, battery, and inflicting emotional distress. She mentioned one incident where Shia drove past the speed limit with her in the passenger seat, unbuckled his seatbelt, and threatened to crash the car if she didn't say she loved him. Talia claimed that Shia tried to choke her in the middle of the night, and she even alleged that Shia gave her an STD. Shia came out with an apology shortly after the lawsuit went public, saying, I'm ashamed of my history and deeply sorry to those who I've hurt. There's nothing else I can say. Shia claimed that he struggled with mental health issues at the time, but since then he's changed his ways and reformed into a better person. More recently, Shia admitted that he converted to Catholicism in August of 2022. While Shia says he's turning over a new leaf, Hollywood still isn't convinced. He'll have a hard time making his way back into the limelight and a harder time convincing social media to forgive his past actions. Army Hammer Army Hammer built a career in Hollywood as an actor portraying Billy Graham in a 2008 film and became a sensation after his role in the hit film The Social Network. The descendant of prominent oil tycoons, 
Army has a net worth of $10 million. Within a few short years, his fame would be destroyed and his net worth would plummet to just $100,000. Army's career took a massive dive when allegations of abuse came out against him in 2021. An anonymous account on Instagram leaked screenshots of messages between Army and numerous women. The screenshots included references to rape, violence, and even cannibalism. Army denied all the charges, but things got worse for him when a woman came forward in March of 2021. She accused Army of forcing himself on her in 2017, and the Los Angeles police launched an investigation against the celebrity. Since then, Army has been fighting the accusations in court and remains mired in legal struggles. A new documentary covers Army's allegations and past misconduct, while the celebrity himself remains firmly outside of Hollywood. Army has lost several movie spots and musical roles, and it seems he won't be coming back to the big screen anytime soon. Chrissy Teigen Chrissy Teigen is a model and television icon, and she got her start by being on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Since then, she's authored several books, engaged in political activism for women's rights, and launched her own line of cookware products. Chrissy married John Legend, a singer known for his musical hits such as Stereo and All of Me, and prepared to settle into a long acting career. Everything changed for Chrissy when a terrible event from her past came back to haunt her, and it would uproot everything people thought they knew about the celebrity. In May of 2021, a brand new accusation against Chrissy came out, and it was very bad for her public image. Courtney Stodden, a singer and beauty model, claimed that Chrissy sent nasty messages to her in 2011. At the time, Courtney was getting married to Doug Hutchinson, and Chrissy wasn't happy about it. Chrissy tweeted about Courtney, saying she hoped that Courtney would take a dirt nap. Chrissy allegedly privately messaged Courtney as well, telling her, I can't wait for you to die. At the time these messages allegedly took place, Courtney was still a minor. The public was understandably outraged that Chrissy would act in this way towards Courtney and demanded she apologize. Chrissy apologized swiftly once word broke about the incident, claiming that she isn't the person she used to be. Not many people are fortunate enough to be held accountable for every stupid thing they do from the whole world, Chrissy stated. I'm horrified at the person I used to be. I was insecure and attention-seeking, and I will work forevermore on being better than I was back then. Courtney accepted the apology, but questioned the sincerity of it nevertheless, since it only came out after the public backlash. Since the incident, Chrissy has lost most of her brand partnerships and movie roles. Chrissy claims she wants to be better, however, and in July of 2022, celebrated a year of sobriety as she hopes to reform from her past behavior. Will Smith Will Smith needs no introduction. The hit actor blew up after his role on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and since then he starred in films like Men in Black, Bad Boys, I Am Legend, and the Aladdin live-action remake. Will has consistently been one of the most recognized faces in Hollywood, and his movies have pulled in an incredible $9 billion across the world. With a net worth of $350 million, few actors can boast of more success than Will. His reputation took a huge hit after a viral incident at the last Oscars, and he's still trying to stop the fallout. Chris Rock made a joke about Will Smith's wife Jada, Will reacted to this by going on stage and slapping Chris on the face. Afterwards, he shouted at Chris, telling him to keep his wife's name out of his mouth. This incident led to Will being banned from the Oscars for 10 years, and much of social media canceled the celebrity overnight. Will apologized at the Oscars and made a larger apology on the internet after the event took place. This wasn't enough to stop the controversy, though, and many people were seeing Will in a new light. The slap incident damaged Will's image as a family-friendly and approachable actor, and since then, several of his planned movies have been axed. While Will remains an icon of Hollywood, he will need to make some drastic changes to regain the support of the public. Kevin Spacey Few actors are more defined by a single role than Kevin Spacey. His performance in House of Cards, a Netflix series about a politician who becomes President of the United States, became a sensation and won numerous awards. 
Kevin received two awards from the Screen Actors Guild and five consecutive Emmy Awards just from a single TV show. Kevin also got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in the 1990s and was given the honorary rank of Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire. Kevin's House of Cards came crashing down after a serious allegation of sexual assault in 2017. In October of that year, another actor known as Anthony Rapp claimed that Kevin made inappropriate advances on him. The alleged incident happened at a party, and the worst part is that Anthony was only 14 at the time while Kevin was 26. Kevin responded to the allegations on Twitter, saying he didn't remember the incident in question. However, he apologized nevertheless and said that he was probably drunk if he did say anything off-color. This was only the first domino, though, and things would get much worse for Kevin's career. Not long after Anthony's allegations, many more actors came forward with allegations of misconduct. Heather Unruh, an anchor woman from Boston, claimed that Kevin assaulted her son. Tony Montana, Roberto Cavazos, and Harry Dreyfus all made similar charges against Kevin. Many more anonymous claims were reported in the following days, including allegations from numerous people who worked on the set of House of Cards. Kevin responded to this by coming out as gay, a move that many gay celebrities criticized for trying to change the subject and withdrew from the public eye. His roles in upcoming movies and TV shows were all canceled, and many thought Kevin was done acting for good. It turns out he'd be back, though, and his next performance would be bone-chilling. Around a year after the first allegation broke, Kevin posted a cryptic video on his YouTube channel. The video was called Let Me Be Frank and appeared to show Kevin playing his character of Frank Underwood from the hit series House of Cards. A year after that, Kevin released another video around Christmas where he told viewers to kill your enemies with kindness. Since then, he's posted one more video encouraging suicidal people to reach out for mental help and played a few minor roles in European films. While Kevin's career is still struggling, he recently won a case in New York City court. The accusations brought by Anthony Rapp were rejected, and Kevin was found not guilty. Many more charges are still being leveled against Kevin, but so far he's avoided any convictions. Kevin Hart Kevin Hart is one of the most famous Hollywood comedians, and he's played iconic roles in a slew of movies over the years. With several stand-up albums under his belt, his position in the comedic world seems unshakable. Kevin's tendency to speak his mind led to being cancelled, and he's still at war with the people trying to keep him cancelled. When Kevin was selected to host the Oscars in 2019, things were looking up for the actor and comedian. He was forced to step down, though, after numerous homophobic tweets from several years ago resurfaced. While Kevin claimed these tweets and other allegedly homophobic statements were jokes, the Academy Awards chose to reject him anyways. Kevin apologized for his past comments and claimed that he wouldn't make them today. Nevertheless, Kevin attacked the cancel culture environment in his interview with Rolling Stone. I think we love to make big deals out of things that aren't necessarily big deals because we can, he said. Why set yourself up for failure? Kevin remains a vocal opponent of cancel culture, saying, When you're talking about nonsense, saying they need to be taken down, shut up, what are you on about? Johnny Depp Johnny Depp is well known for his hit role in the movie series Pirates of the Caribbean, and by the 2010s, he was one of the biggest film stars in the world. With earnings as high as $75 million a year, Johnny had an incredible net worth of $400 million. His great success came under attack when a single op-ed destroyed his reputation in 2018. Johnny was divorced from his then-wife Amber Heard in 2016 after being married to her for two years. Shortly after, Amber published an op-ed alleging that Johnny was abusive towards her, and several media outlets ran stories calling him a wife-beater. This was extremely bad for Johnny's reputation, and according to him, the claims weren't even true. Johnny sued Amber for libel, claiming that she made up the accusations of abuse and that she had actually been abusive to him. The trial dragged on for several years, becoming a media sensation throughout the early months of 2022. In June of 2022, the jury for the case Depp v. Heard finally reached a verdict. 
They declared that Amber had lied about the abuse, and the media outlets were defamatory, and she had cost Johnny millions of dollars in movie deals. Johnny reacted very positively to the news, saying, The jury gave me my life back. I am absolutely humbled. While the jury exonerated Johnny at the trial, the public haven't fully forgiven the actor for his past actions. Few movies or TV shows wanted to take on Johnny with his past baggage, and he might be cancelled for longer than he ever expected. Click here to see actors who ruined their careers this year. See you there!